the great quitter horse race is brought to you by the stallion roster at lazy e ranch in guthrie oklahoma dating back to 1972 the pinnacle event in quitter horse racing for an older horse happens in southern california every december and the grade one champion of champions. Hey, all right. Take the champion of champions. Big run here for me, of course, to create a hot step in BH Places of Hawaii. It's an invitational event that has been won by some of the who's who of the sport of quarter horse racing, like the immortal Dash for Cash, or the legendary First Down Dash as there have been legendary winners of this prestigious event. Political chess and attempting dash, our nose and nose and eight political chess, the sophomore winner. Many quarter horse racing experts agree that most likely the 2022 Champion of Champions is the greatest ensemble field ever assembled for this event, and quite possibly the greatest field of quarter horse runners ever assembled in the history of the sport. I'll tell you what, I first called my first champion of champions back in 1981, so I've called 38 of these races. This will be Michael Rona's third call. Of all the champion of champions that I can recall, this is the deepest field ever. You know, I've gone back and talked about first down dash against Gold Coast Express. We had Refrigerator in here. We had uh, He's a Dash Fire against Moonus. We always had one or two standout horses. I mean, th this is the greatest field I've ever seen. I've been, I'm not Ed Burgart, who's called the race for... 35 years or so before he retired, but I've been coming since the mid 1980s, Gold Coast Express, first down dash, and I can't remember a field that was this stacked with, you know, five different millionaires, uh, total combined earnings, the highest of all time of over $9 million. This year we've got four standout horses. You've got the world champion from last year, Danger. You've got Impressum, who's a multiple grade one winner. You have a two time winner of the champion at Champions A Political Pence, and the three year old sensation, Bomb Cyclone is going to try to win the champion of champions for the first time ever, having won the Los Al Super Derby and Los Al 2 million. So four terrific horses and powerful favorite and a political candy V are both multiple grade one winners. They're 15 to one. That tells you how strong this field is. The hallways of the Los Alamitas racing office is littered with the artistic portraits of the great ones of our sport. Los Al has been the race course where one comes to make his stamp in the history journals of quarter horse racing. One such runner is A. Political Pence, who is chasing to tie the record of the great runner Refrigerator, the only three-time winner of the Champion of Champions, and he did it in three consecutive years. This Monte Rosa trainee is on the verge of entering the hallowed halls of where only one horse has gone before. Uh, growing up in the Intermountain region was a true blessing for me. I was around great horsemen and I just learned a lot. I've always had a great passion for horses, race horses, but my dream had always been to come to Los Alamitos. I really um, always admired uh, Blaine Schwanevelt, John Cooper. They were heroes and idols to me and, and wanted to follow in their footsteps. Um, and so this has been a, a great ride for me to be here, to be running in the Champion of Champions. Uh, I mean, that was the dream. That was the, growing up, that was the race. Um, I can remember uh, going to the simulcast and watching it at the simulcast and, you know, everybody picking a horse and who was their favorite. And, um, you know, probably one of my all-time favorite race horses, well, my all-time favorite race horse was Refrigerator. I admired him, I loved him. I thought he was the epitome of quarter horse racing. And so now to be in a position um, to you know to match what he did is it's just it's uh, you know it's a dream come true it's phenomenal i can't it's, it's hard to put words to really first down an apolitical pence wins flashback jumping out of the ground for second well, this horse is, I mean, he's been a key. He's been the one, you know, he's been phenomenal. I've had him since he was a two-year-old and um, just watched him grow and progress. And, uh, you know, he's like Rocky Balboa. He's a prize fighter. He steps up and meets every challenge when he's asked. And um, they just don't make horses like him. He, he's a, definitely one in a million. Okay, we'll be right back after these words from our sponsor. 
Introducing just some of the powerful stallion roster of Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The royally bred son of Corona Cartel, Big Lou, winner of the Grade 1 Los Al Super Derby as a runner. The legendary sire, Corona Cartel. The number two all-time sire of money earners and sire of such runners as Blues Girl 2 and 30 other Grade 1 winners. A leading second crop sire of 2019, Coronado Cartel. Son of legendary Corona Cartel and sire of the Grade 1 Rio Dosa Fichurti winner, Blue Corazon. The Grade 1 winning son of leading sire, favorite cartel, Cyber Monday. Winner of the Grade 1 Rio Dosa Fichurti as a runner. The champion and Grade 1 winning Dulce Sintacha. The son of All-American Fichurti winning Jess Good Candy. And winner of the Grade 1 Texas Classic Fichurti as a runner. The AQHA champion and first crop leading sire, He's Our Secret. Sire of the Grade 2 West Texas Fichurti winner, Perry Secret. The Grade 1 Fichurti runner-up and son of leading sire, Walk Through Fire, Jess Fire Me. Runner-up finisher in the Grade 1 Rio Dosa Fichurti as a runner, which are just some of the sires standing at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Visit them on the web at LazyERanch.net. amazing feel it's uh full of superstars and everything um one of the toughest i've seen in my career here you know it's um you got bomb cyclone you know um you got impress him you got danger you got political pants you know it's four big horses i think you know and uh, <clears throat> so it's going to be a very competitive race it's going to be a hard race what can you say it doesn't get any better than this Meanwhile, in the barn of Riodosa Racehorse Hall of Fame trainer Heath Taylor, the ultra-talented four-year-old gelding in Pressum is being readied for his date with destiny in the Champion of Champions. The talented runner was an absolute superstar as a three-year-old, winning the Grade 1 Riodosa Derby, the Grade 1 Rainbow Derby, and the Grade 1 Texas Classic Derby. Now as a four-year-old, he's rattled off wins in the Grade 1 Vessel's Maturity, and the Grade 1 Go Man Go Handicap before putting in a runner-up finish in the Robert Boniface Invitational Championship in October to a political Pence. There's a lot of stories in here. Uh, Danger being world champion and won 14 stakes at 440 coming out. And, and uh, Pence, obviously, uh, just been incredible. Hadn't been beat this year. Bomb Cyclone looked like a, a, a pure superstar. Every race he's ever run here, nothing's even got close. Um, and then there's a lot more depth. Uh, powerful favorite made a million and a half dollars. Doesn't even get spoken about. But the, the thing that I like about Impressum is we decided um, he's very healthy this year as a four-year-old year to kind of reward the horse, not move around, have a campaign at one place, and uh, with the intent of, of uh, hopefully he's only four. And that's what a lot of people are forgetting. This horse has done so much, it's only four years old. Um, completely sound, and uh, there's the potentiality there that uh, if he's managed right, the horse could run at five, six, and seven. So he had intentionally a light year this year with the hopes of having a long career. We're happy to be back here. We're excited to be in this race. Um, it's a su superior field. Um, you know, he is six years old, but uh, you know, sometimes I think he's gotten better with age. You know, he just seems to get faster all the time. Well, we've da basically taken really good care of him. We haven't overran him, in my opinion. Um, we pick our spots. We chart a course and uh, knock on wood, he stayed really, really sound for us. First champion of champion was in 1972, and believe it or not, I was here for it. Well, I think the most exciting one I saw, or most impressive one, was Dash for Cash. I think that's my all time favorite right there. He just blew away from there, never looked back. Nicodemus was looking over his shoulder at the, see where the rest of them were. You know, they wanted him for the refrigerator, Lone Star, but. Uh, like you said, the level of competition here for this race right now, I think he needs to be here. I think he deserves to be here. The Champion Champions, of course, is kind of like the Super Bowl of horse racing the, for the older horses. And uh, 
Man, we've been in it so many times since I've been to Los Alamitos, dating back to 95 and Special Phoebe. I've had such good chances in the past. Catch Me In Your Dreams ran second. Powerful Favorite ran third by a neck not too long ago and maybe two years ago. But it, it you know, it's definitely would be a feather in my, my cap. It's something that you dream about and something that you want and it means so much to us. And it just get, kind of gives you chills when you stop and think about all the great horses that have won it. Man, alive, look at Refrigerator and I mean, Look at the horses won the last couple of years. Just think of what Monte Rosa's got to to have fun with. You know, we want we want some of that. Our horses are doing good, and we're we're so excited. I, mean, I haven't been able to sleep for a few nights just getting up early and coming to the barn and watching over these horses like uh, like a mother hen per se, so that we can try to keep them out of trouble and and get them to the race in one piece. And hello again everyone, I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com here at Los Alamitos. It's a nice cool night here in December. It's Champion of Champions night and of course they're calling this the big one. One of the greatest that's ever been assembled. The 2022 field here is a record field going into this big 440 yard race. I can't remember a field that was this stacked with, you know, five different millionaires, uh, total combined earnings, the highest of all time of over $9 million. And the vibe, the energy here at Los Al was just absolutely amazing. It was packed, you know, up in the rafters, you know, in the 1980s, it was, it was always crowded. It's 2022, people don't sit in those seats anymore. And sometimes they'll come down to the rail and you'll see a, a nice crowd, but they were up in the rafters packed last night. Uh, at, champion champs it, it felt great that you know Los Alamitos had that sort of field and for Impressum to be able to win as impressively as he did against that caliber really stamped him as I, I think there's no doubt about it that he's our world champ. Introducing just some of the powerful stallion roster of Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The four-time champion sire in just two crops and an All-American Futurity winner as a runner, Just Good Candy. Sire of two champions including multiple grade one winning Just Saving Candy. The leading sire and champion as a runner, Kiss My Hawks. The two-time grade one winner is the sire of grade one Leo Stakes winner, Just My Hawks. The two-time AQHA champion runner and son of legendary sire Corona Cartel, KVN Corona. 
the Grade 1 Ed Burke Million Futurity winner as a runner. One of the all-time leading sires in the quarter horse ranks and a two-time Grade 1 winner as a runner, PYC Paint Your Wagon. A multiple Grade 1 producing sire of such runners like Grade 1 winning The Physical Cliff. The Grade 1 Futurity runner-up and son of leading sire, one famous eagle, the Marfa Lights. Earner of over a half million dollars, highlighted by a runner-up finish in the Grade 1 All-American Futurity. The two-time champion in Grade 1 winning, Uncle D. The royally bred son of legendary sire, Corona Cartel, was the winner of the Grade 1 Rainbow Futurity as a runner. And the sire of three champions and five millionaire runners, Valiant Hero. Sires of such runners like Grade 1 All-American Derby winning millionaire, Feature Hero which are just some of the sires standing at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Visit them on the web at LazyERanch.net.